Hey, welcome, it's KB here and look at this new Windows 10 file explorer. Isn't it beautiful? Yes, it is. And uh, I'm going to be talking about this update actually. So if you have been following the Windows 10 news, then you may have heard about this Sun Valley Windows 10 update. Actually, Sun Valley is a code name for the Windows 10 future update, which will be released at the end of this year maybe some of you guys are thinking to try this new update right now so actually you can you can join windows insider program and you can have this update earlier so that's what i did i'm actually running this in virtual machine because it's a beta version of windows 10 it's not complete and there are so many bugs and all that so it's not a complete version of sun valley update uh, there are a few things that are broken there are a few things that are not changed yet so yeah let's just talk about what's new in this update what you can expect and all that so first of all uh this new update will be called as a windows 10 uh, 2021 october or november update so the version of this windows 10 update will be 21 h2 and uh, yeah we are actually very close to 21 h1 update i'm sure 21 h1 update will be released somewhere in april or may so we won't get this new ui and new icons in this 21 h1 update so we'll just have to wait for the 21 h2 update so let's now explore what's new in this so first of all you will notice is that you will have the new file explorer with new icons it's not the new new file explorer actually it's just that it has new icon and it makes this file explorer look very beautiful yes <laughs> so you can see the, all the icons here desktop icon and all that if you compare it with your computer right now you will see uh, it is very beautiful so that's the one thing and uh, second thing it's not done yet maybe it's just a rumor but in the news i heard that they will also change the notification panel to windows 10x style so as you can see in the screen this is how it's gonna look and yeah in my opinion it looks much better and much beautiful than the old notification panel hope we will get this but as of now in this preview build uh, it is not added yet so maybe this is just a rumor or something like that and but i'm hoping that we will get that new notification panel and it looks very cool and there is this new widget in taskbar when you hover your mouse on it uh, it will uh, show you the news weather and some stock market thingies i guess and uh, when you click on show more news it will actually open the msn.com in edge browser noise i think it's just a msn uh, widget for the taskbar for quick overview for the headlines news headlines and weather yeah I don't know if i would like to have this or not i don't think uh, it's gonna be that useful but in my opinion this is just a useless thing they are adding here so i don't like it and i hope uh, we will have the option to disable it or remove it from this thing yeah but anyway this is a new thing in the sun valley windows 10 future update and yeah there will be a new you know all new beautiful icons for the system files system settings or system apps so let me show you one example here so you can see windows security windows defender will get new defender icon if you compare it with your defender icon right now you will see that it's a whole new icon yeah so such as these uh, we will get new icons for other apps and all that so, and since this is just a preview build uh you know some things are missing and all that so yeah that's that and uh, another thing new we will get in this update is the windows terminal so the windows terminal is actually downloadable you can download it from microsoft store but it will come pre-installed i think you can also uninstall it good thing because maybe some people won't like it and they would just want to uninstall it you can actually uninstall it so this terminal will 
have all the terminals that you want to use. So for example, we have the PowerShell. If you click on this down arrow, we can run the command prompt in same terminal, like we can switch in between Windows PowerShell and Windows command prompt. And we also have the Azure Cloud Shell. I never used it and I don't even know what is this for, but uh, yeah, I have used command prompt and Windows PowerShell. So yeah, good thing. <laughs> yeah, this is, actually much better than using a default PowerShell or Windows command prompt because it's a new era and new app and it's much better looking than the old applications. Good thing in my opinion. And you know what? Our default notepad is updated with new icon. I don't know about inside, but outside the icon of this thing has changed. Finally, well, so I actually use Notepad a lot to write down some things that I want to remember or something like that. I use Notepad a lot. So now it's just gonna look better from outside, at least the icon. And uh, I don't know about the new, yeah, they actually put the icon in about section two. Noise, I like it, but uh, rest of this thing say, stays the same, I guess. Yeah, it's the same notepad with the new icon. Maybe they will update the UI of this app when actual update comes out. Maybe, but I don't have high hopes. But at least we got some new icon. Good thing. And with this new update, you know, you will be able to uninstall most of the system applications that comes with Windows 10. So I don't know which are the applications we can't uninstall but most of them you can uninstall like paint 3d maybe right now you still can but uh, uh, there are few applications which can be uninstalled and reinstalled so they they have you know this you know the few applications that you can uninstall even if they are pre-installed so that's that and uh, the most important update of this uh, windows 10 update is the less bloatware yes th this is just a rumor or maybe this is going to be a true but uh, uh, as i heard on the news they say the windows 10 21 h2 update or aka sun valley update will come with less bloatware and you know it people hate windows 10 because there are so many bloatwares and uh, yeah actually even if there are bloatwares, you will be able to uninstall them easily. Even some system applications, as I said earlier. So that's that. And uh, if you open the settings, Windows 10 settings, you will see new icons all over. So I actually have talked about this icon thingy. So you, uh, you just need to know that Windows 10 Sun Valley update, aka 21 S2 update will come with whole new icons for the system files system apps and all that and it will also come with new fresh design that's what they say it's a preview build so it's not actually the update that we are talking about but it has some of the features that will be going to get released with this new update so yeah that's it and there are actually so many things under the hood uh, that uh, we can read online you can just do the search read the news and they will have the very detailed features list and uh, you will know what's new in it and all that so uh, overall this is the new update and this is how it's gonna look it's not a complete product yet because it's just a preview build and there are many months left for this update to come out actually so it's still in development state but don't worry whenever it gets a new feature or new update uh, i will update the video too so don't worry about that because i'm also excited for this new update because i also want that new look so as soon as this update hits the ground i'm just gonna pick it up yeah, I don't know about you, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to do that. And uh, yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to join the Windows Insider program, I, I will actually put a link in the description for the Windows Insider website. You can go there and 
just to be safe and you don't want to break your Windows 10 system, just use Windows inside a program inside virtual machine or if you have some extra laptop or PC, then you can also use those. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it. And actually, as I said, I'm using this in virtual machine because I want to test the new update before I actually install it. So it's not even out yet. So yeah, but uh, yeah, I'm really excited for this new update. Yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and everyone. Bye-bye. And if I have anything missed, then do the comment. If there is anything specific feature that you know about this new update, then let us know in the comment section below. Just help each other and uh, yeah. That's it. I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.